Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Today is Thursday, November 12th. This is our kind of our last time we're going to record some videos on the word problems of exponentials. This is obviously to assist you with your last assignment this year. And I've just streamlined the question for example one from the exponential growth, just to read it to you. They're asking you some, they gave some de detailed information that the population uh, of the planet, they did a census in 1999, and they came to around that there's about 6 billion people on this planet at that time. They've also did some kind of study and they noticed that maybe the population is doubling every 35 years. So the two questions we're trying to ask or to predict is, what's the population going to be in 2040? And then of course, just to assume if there's 40 billion people on the planet, when would this happen, right? So the first aspect when you look at these types of questions is identify what type of word problem it is. And as you can see from the two, uh, the three equations, this is clearly a doubling question. Right. So how do we set this up? Really straightforward. Notice, why not transfer in the initial or the beginning? And some students would argue, well, Mr. Chen, we, we need to know how many people there were on the beginning of the planet. But that's kind of impossible because we don't have that data. So this is 1999 is our reference point. And so to answer this question, for question A, a lot of you realize the initial amount we're going to use is 6 billion at 1999. So y is equal to 6 billion. And notice I'm going to be working in billions, so that's going to be my 6 for the why not. Our 2 is our base. The time, well, we have to figure out from 1999 to 2040. Anyone in the class want to tell me what is that time frame? No pressure, really, it's going to be easy. Tanush? 41 years, and that's going to be the 41 in the numerator. And I see that, that is the t. And the d, well, you can tell, is the doubling period. In this case, that's the 35. Now, I don't mean to insult your intelligence, ladies and gentlemen, but this is a common error. Even though we get the equation out like this, some students still kind of forget how to do order of operations. For some reason, and this is a problem, a lot of students will do, well, let's pretend 12 to the 41 over 35. That is incorrect, right? We can do the order of operations. So you have to do the exponent first, 41 divided by 35, which is the decimal answer. And then you do two to that answer, and then you multiply that by six. So hopefully you're playing along with Mr. Chan. And I think we're gonna get approximately, and let's see if someone can double check my math, about 13.5 billion people. Can I get a volunteer just to make sure that I did that right? Yeah. Thank you. I think it's like 13.5 on four. Yeah. And they're asking you, I think, in the hand it actually to the nearest half billion. So that's the prediction in 2040, how many people there'll be on this planet. Like that's Super crappy. Okay, so that's what we got. Any questions about question A? I think question A is pretty straightforward. Because it's just executing and implementing. So the word problems is just translation. For question B though, I'm sorry. I think a lot of you know for question B, we're trying to find the time. This question is when. So it's not asking for the doubling period, it's actually for the time period. So the y is 48. 48 billion, we're going to be working billions. And we're going to use this reference of the information for it, 6 billion being in, in the beginning. It's still a double question. Notice, unlike how Tanesh helped us out with the time, we don't know what that is, and the D is a 35. And this is why this question is actually relatively easy, but when we get the harder questions, especially, a lot of you realize, if we're trying to find an unknown of the exponent, we can use logarithms. So after this lesson or this word problems, technically you could use logarithms, but this one's a kind of neat catch. I think a lot of you know what I'm going to do. In order to solve this, divide both sides by six. So we get two to the t over 35. And a lot of you know, because you already did your test, instead of using logarithms, you can change that eight to two to the three. And since the bases are the same, we can equate their exponents, right? So 3 is equal to t over 35. And this is actually where solving exponential equations you know, in logarithms are very helpful. t is equal to 105. What does that really mean? In 105 years, with respect to the initial 1999, that's the population that they're predicting. Unfortunately, if there's no changes, right? So this is actually how models work. And 
how we try to predict exponential growth. So when is this going to happen? For this one, I think you're going to agree. 105 plus 1999. And 20, 2104 is when there will be 48 billion people. And hopefully the video caught that. Maybe not. Any questions from the class about this straightforward doubling question? Any questions at all? Does it make sense? I think it's pretty easy. Let's try the second one together if that's okay. Uh, I'm still going to keep on recording. Uh, I'm going to just word it out for us. And maybe someone from the class will be connected too. Don't worry, I'll leave questions either. For example, two, it says. The number of insects in a colony doubles every month. If there are 8,000 insects after five months, what is the initial number of the insects in the colony? So I think everyone agrees that the 8,000, that's the amount. Okay. And so what is the initial number? So already letting you know the initial is what we're trying to find. So that's our why not. So I think everyone agrees the five months. The five months is not the doubling. The five months is the time frame. So we're doing five months for the time frame. But it doubles every month. So this one's actually really easy. Five over one. And I will do an extra assignment, but I won't record it. Just to show you a different question so that you can see it more, it's much more challenging. The ideas for these ones are pretty good. Also, your textbook also has really good uh, exponential word problems because there's just so many, but we just found the, the handouts so we get it. And now that we're joining to set this up, let me know what we can do next. 8,000, why not? And that's actually 32. Well, this 32 is the coefficient up front, so it's a little cleaner. Hopefully, you guys know how to do that. 2 to the 5 is 32. Divide both sides by 32. I think we're going to use this 2 to 2. And then, of course, you answer it out really easy. There was 2 to 50 insects initially. Okay. And then, if you were to do the table of values after the first month, and the second month, and the third month, and the fourth month, the population doubles. You would see that the common ratio which show that that pattern is the same and it is exponential. Okay. Any questions about this?